Hey, what is up, everybody? Blades for here, and today I'm for you another video of Black Clover Mobile. Inside today's video, guys, we're gonna be going over the season three uh, units that are actually gonna be dropping here, as well as some new information regarding a different boss coming here. Now, this was revealed inside of the live stream here. I ended up watching it on my phone, and as I told most of you, of course, I'm gonna be using my hotspot probably every other day to get you guys a video out. And um, this was kind of interesting to actually see here. We got confirmed at least the season three characters who's going to be dropping here, along with an interesting special character at the end and some new information regarding the boss. If I go ahead and take a look here and go ahead and just check out what we have up here. This is exactly where they ended up actually telling us they're going to be having season three characters, which we all knew was coming here very, very soon, and which we get to see these silhouettes for the newer units here. Now, the newer units that are going to be actually announced here are going to be Asta, which <laughs> his silhouette looks so freaking weird, man. But I'm guessing that's him holding the pool floaty behind him, which I'm guessing that's right. But um, you have Asta over here. You have Charmy and you have Vanessa here. Now, um, originally, I think it was some, a couple other characters for season two. Um, but instead, it looks like they moved them to season three, and which just lines up correctly because if I'm right, we're getting a summer Vanessa as well outfit. And so if this is that type of Vanessa, um, that should be happening or no, it's a summer Charlotte. So during this time, we might actually get a summer event regarding that. So she could be getting her at least outfit later on um, with Charlotte here. And then, of course, we have the new units themselves. And during this new at least thing that they've been end up showing, they actually ended up showing us their grimoire books here, which we have the confirmation of the Asta being a red defense unit. So that's kind of good for us because we only have, I think, about two defense units that are red that are actually SSRs that are good. Um SSR Veto was kind of okay-ish, but um took a lot to actually use. So hopefully this red defense SSR Asta is actually pretty dang good here. And so we have the first one being this, of course, which is actually pretty dang awesome. Can't lie. Looks pretty nice. And then, of course, we have the next one being Charmy, of course, with her with food everywhere. As usual, she's going to be a blue healer. So SR Charmy is going to be replaced finally. But um, not a bad thing whatsoever in that remark here. Um, we'll actually finally have an SSR Charmy, which is going to be fairly, fairly interesting to see. And then, of course, if we go ahead and keep looking, more of the eye candy right here is Vanessa. Now, it's quite interesting because Vanessa is going to be a damage dealer. And she's going to be a green damage dealer at that. So um, I'm very interested. Not, not just because of the damage, just uh, I don't know. There's something about this one that is, 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 I feel like it's going to be good. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. Now, um, if we go ahead and go up a little bit more here, we see that they're going to be going over a boss. They ended up talking about this a little bit here, um, how the boss is going to be here. And at least in wave one, wave two, they're going to have a couple different things here, which is going to be interesting to see. But um, alas, I'm going to have to get the translations for that for you guys, because we do have a few things uh, to go over with this. Now, once again, as I did tell you guys, seeing I am using my hotspot, I am going to be doing this like not ultra ultra end up stuff so i'm going to be relying on some people who already have tested certain things to actually go over this with translations too and then i'll be covering those translations as well but specifically for this here they translated here that there's going to be a three giant snakes here of course happening there are two phases wave one and ways two and which will be organized by hand each phase so of course you're going to need yourself two different teams most likely for these phases here and then you're going to be going interesting but then where they pretty much left us with a little bit of a cliffhanger is Julius here in which let's go ahead and play this. So it gets it. Julius here we did know was leaked um, and I'm already liking how he looks here. I can't wait till he drops. Um, I'm going to have to figure out a way to somehow do my dailies and stuff very, very soon for this game. Um, I most likely have to rely on my old phone to see and uh, see if I can get it downloaded and stuff like that. And if I can get it downloaded, I'm gonna try and do my dailies and then uh, pretty much just get on by with that so I can actually get this stuff because I don't even have my season three key yet. So I'm probably gonna be late to the party on that one. But um, let's go ahead and go ahead a little bit looking forward here. And I think that is about it that they all just talk about. Yeah, for the rest of it. So 
We got confirmed, of course, the season three characters, which is going to be Asta, Charmy, and Vanessa. Asta being defense, Charmy being the healer, and Vanessa being a very interesting attacker. And then we have, of course, Julius, who is coming soon with a three-headed boss. So you guys, let me know down below what you think about this. Of course, are you excited or are you not excited? Um, hopefully they bring up some changes to PVP later on or something, or at least in the patch notes or something like that, because uh, let's be honest what needs to be reformed here but um the next time everybody uh i'll talk to you guys in about two days or at least day and a half so peace